Welcome to Jazz Piano Daily 134. Here is part five of how to play uh, from fake books using Angel Eyes. All right, so let's, um, uh, let's move over to the sheet music and let me play the entire thing for you first of all and we'll break it down. Here we go. So let's, let's break this down. Uh, so here in the beginning, you see before, this used to be a, um, whoops, sorry, hit the wrong button here. This used to be a D7 to a G7. Actually, this used to be a D minor 7 flat 5 to a G7. Now, here's the thing. Anytime you have like a bluesy kind of sound song, and this is kind of like, it has a bluesy feel to it, a lot of times you could replace chords with their dominant quality. So you see how we took that minor seven flat five chord and we placed it with a D seven chord instead. So a lot of times those minor chords you can replace with um, their dominant. Now you might be thinking, well, could I do that with the C seven chord as well? Well, no, because it's in C minor, so you need at least that initial minor sound. But for instance, like, like this A minor seven flat five here, you, you could actually replace that with an A seven alter. Check it out. So if I did. Um, And even here, that D7, that D minor, flat five, I can replace that with a D7, and then, and then go to G7. So a lot of these chords you could replace with a dominant quality chord instead. That's exactly what we did here. So the D minor seven became D7, and then the G7, remember we did the tritone substitution. Just go back in JPD, there's uh, lessons on tritones, right? So. The tritone substitution, rather than playing a G7, we play a D flat 7. So we went D7, root 3, 7 chord shell, D flat 7, root 3, 7 chord shell. And then rather than coming down here and hitting that root, I went to a root 3, 7 chord shell, then played the rootless voicing. And then to A flat. And then back down to C, and then A minor 7 flat 5, right? All of this is the same. And then G7. And then this again, the C minor. And then here on the A minor 7 flat 5, this becomes an A7 altered instead. Now what did I do here for the alteration? I have the 7th, I have the 3rd, I have the 9th, and I have the sharp 11. Why did you use the sharp 11 in there? Helps support the melody, right? I could have done that as well with the sharp 9 and the flat 13, but then the melody is kind of out there by itself. Hear how it doesn't really support it, whereas that really supports that melody. So take a listen, I'll play both versions. I'll play right here, the C minor 7 to A7, right? So here it is with the... versus what's written. Right, so I think that that voicing sounds a little bit better there, right? So you get to decide. And you can play it both ways if you want, right? So. And then finishing out here, A flat, G, that's all the same, C, but then I go to D7 altered, root three seven, chord voicing in the left hand, sharp nine, sharp 11, to the G7 alter. Root 7 in the left hand, 3, flat 13, sharp 5, however you want to look at it, sharp 9. You could also add in your flat 9 as well. Or double the 7th in there if you wanted. Or just leave it open like that. You could even add sharp 11 down there. Alright, so let's do the entire thing again, along with the iReal Pro track. Move this down so I can see it. And here we go.
you and you can just end right on that nice big C minor 7 chord. That's just a rootless chord voicing there. Root 3, 7 in the left hand. That's it. I'm going to get a little fancy. Do root 5, 9. Okay. All right, so that's it for this lesson. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. To get the first 45 pages of music for free, just go back to jazzpianodaily.com. If you liked the video, please be sure to click the like button and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. To watch the rest of the lessons in this series, just click on the playlist to the right of this arrow. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.